Thanksgiving dinner price drops in Wisconsin. Teen arrested after fiery crash in Manitowoc. Red Cross faces severe blood shortage. These stories and more on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. Hello, I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Monday, November 19th, 2018. One person was arrested after a fiery crash in Manitowoc Wednesday night. The Sheriff's Department says a deputy tried to stop the car on South 21st Street in the city, and the 17-year-old driver from Manitowoc fled, and when he tried making a turn to get away, went over a curb, slammed into a tree, which caused his engine compartment to start on fire. The deputies helped the driver and two passengers out of the vehicle, and the driver was arrested for felony fleeing, causing bodily harm, and all three people in the vehicle had minor injuries. The Red Kettle campaign for the Sheboygan Salvation Army had a kickoff on Saturday at Festival in Sheboygan. From 11 o'clock to 3, they had Tinker, the bell-ringing miniature horse, on hand, along with hot chocolate, candy canes, some musical performances, the volunteer bell-ringing shift sign-up list, and of course, Santa Claus. And Captain Daryl Mangieri will be freezing for a reason from December 10th to 14th outside of festival. He will sleep out in the cold to raise awareness and support for the hurting, hungry, and homeless in our community. Their fundraising goal this year is $611,000. The American Red Cross faces a severe blood shortage in Badger Hawkeye region, Wisconsin, and Iowa. Blood donors are needed urgently. The blood products are going out to hospital patients faster than they're coming in the door, spokeswoman Laura McGuire said. Obviously, we never want to be in a position to tell someone that we do not have blood. We strive to have a five-day supply on hand, and right now, we are at a three-day supply. All blood types are needed, but a few types are in critically short supply. What we are really trying to put out the message for is type O negative and O positive blood, McGuire said. I would recommend going to redcrossblood.org and you will be able to find eligibility requirements. You can also call 1-800-RED-CROSS to find your nearest donation location. A Madison entrepreneur is celebrating a new investment in her company. Kate Field runs the kombucha shop and home brewing supply company and took a deal with two of the sharks on Shark Tank last night. She gave up 10% of her company to Sarah Blakely and Barbara Corcoran for $200,000 and $150,000 line of credit. Field opened her store five years ago to sell supplies to people where they can make their own kombucha at home. She has sold 60,000 kits with half of her sales coming in this year. They cost between $45 and $80. Kombucha is a fermented tea and Field founded her company five years ago when she was just 26. Baby Jesus and the wise men are coming back to West Bend and local organizers Hope they make it through Christmas this time. Anna Jensen with Downtown West Bend Associate Association says that the town will unveil its nativity scene on Monday. Thrive Financial is paying for it and it costs $3,500. West Bend lost part of its nativity scene last year just after someone stole baby Jesus. The Jesus figurine was eventually recovered but its head was missing and was badly damaged. The older nativity scene was gifted to the town in 1960s. 
It was a handmade from Germany, but was showing wear and tear. Jensen says that they will have a security camera at the scene around this time, and it will be displayed at Old Settlers Park. Family and friends of a missing man are searching for clues to his disappearance. 53-year-old Toby Cleesby has, has not been seen since November 5th. Volunteers searched the area last weekend along the Chippewa River banks near where Cleesby's car was found in Eau Claire County two days later. About 100 people assisted in the search on Sunday and volunteers were asked to look for any clues like car keys, his cell phone, or articles of clothing. A drone was brought in to assist the area where the woods was too dense to be searched. The circumstances surrounding his disappearance are still unknown, and Cleesby was a postal worker who worked in Mondovi, where he, and he also has five children. And finally, good news for anyone responsible for feeding a crowd this Thanksgiving Thursday. The Wisconsin Farm Bureau Federation says that the average price to feed a family of 10, a traditional dinner of turkey and dressing, along with cranberries, dinner rolls, and pumpkin pie, dropped by more than $2 this year to $45.01. Officials say a recent decline in the price of a 16-pound turkey was the biggest reason for the savings. In 2017, we found that the average price was $20.96, and this year we found that it was down $1.92 to just $19.04, said Sarah Hedke, the Director of Communications for the WFBF. Hedke says that 2017 was a good year for Wisconsin turkey producers, which also factors into the drop. And 631 turkey farms statewide produced about 3.4 million birds last year. Additionally, neighboring Minnesota is the nation's leading turkey producer, which also helps drive down costs for Wisconsin consumers. Wisconsin's price is also a bargain when compared to the national price tag of $48.90, according to that survey. Hedke says that this is because several items like milk, cream, and cranberries can be found close to home as well. The farmer's share of this year's $45.01 price tag for a family of 10 is about $8.78. According to the USDA, farmers receive about 14.8% of every food dollar. Wisconsin's Thanksgiving Market Basket Survey is an informal annual review of food price trends in relation to changing farm prices whether and wholesale and retail marketing. Wisconsin Farm Bureau members collected price samples of 15 Thanksgiving food items in 27 count communities in November. Farm Bureau volunteer shoppers are asked to look for the best possible prices without taking advantage of special promotional coupons or purchase deals. And that is all we have for today. Join me again next week for another recap of our local news. From all of us at Community News Review, have a great day. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.